Welcome back, and here's what everyone's buzzing about this morning. What is it, Scott? Well, bankrupt Hostess brands have received a number of bids from companies interested in buying the maker of Twinkies, Ho-Hos, and Wonder Bread, including retail heavyweights such as Walmart, Kroger. Bloomberg News reported Friday, quoting an unnamed person familiar with the matter. The person asked not to be named because of the confidentiality of the bidding process. Bloomberg reported that around two dozen possible buyers have emerged, including Walmart, Kroger, Mexican bakery giant Grupo, and Alpha Baking Company. Um, so, you know, what we have to look at here is we see this up and down, and right. although it's kind of ridiculous how much this whole ordeal is it's making news, deal. it is kind of a big <laughs> deal because it has such an iconic American background right. to it. Uh, when this went under, a lot of people were like, oh no, I'm never going to get a Twinkie ever again. Yeah. So they went out and they bought them and they were selling them for way more than they're worth. And the funny thing was about it was a lot of us kind of looked at it and said, this is such an American brand right. that you're just not going to see it disappear. Right. You know, it's like if Coca-Cola went belly up, someone would swoop in and buy like Coca-Cola. Yeah. There would be a whole other thing of Coca-Cola, a whole other day of yeah. Coca-Cola. Um, so we, we can't really look at it as this is going away. It's never going to happen. Um, the big thing we want to point out is the fact that Walmart is starting to look at this. And, and a lot of people are like, well, you know, Walmart's going into a busy time of year. Would they be willing right. to put forth the money to buy it? And it absolutely. Huge inflow of cash oh, yeah. right now just from the Christmas season alone. Um, so Walmart will probably be the biggest competitor when it comes to uh, who could buy the, right. the, the whole Hostess brand. Um, the other one is Grupo, which is are already making products similar. So what is Grupo? Uh, Grupo is the hostess of Mexico. Okay. Um, they, you'll see a lot of their products actually in convenience stores now um, and before hostess okay. went out. Uh, so that is another big swinger in the whole buying process of hostess. The reason why they can, they can put forth the money, A, is because they are the mm -hmm. hostess of Mexico and they actually do well. Right. Um, the other thing is they have access to cheaper sugar in Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the ability for them to pull cheaper sugar money into Mexico and produce the product at a cheaper rate will make it so they can right. pr produce and put out a, a cheaper product and, and mean, be able to make more money. It kind of makes sense. I feel like if you would go to the Mexican version of it, you know, in Mexico... Right. I don't, what do you think? Uh, you know, it, the the fact that they can get cheaper sugar, I think, will make them a bigger contender. Right. The, the big thing is, it's these two giants going against each other. Uh, I think Walmart will be able to cut a bigger check than Grupo will, and I think they want to. Right. They want to have the ability to have a bigger name brand, and I think this is what we're going to see. Uh, we've seen it in under other industries where one large corporation starts buying up smaller, well-known mm -hmm. names and putting them out under their own name. Uh, we see, we've seen a lot of technological industries, a lot of um, uh, patents and trademarks have allowed companies to be able to do this, to right. buy up everything and put out, and you know, it's in a different name, but it's actually owned by a, right. this company. And I think that's Wal what Walmart's trying to do, is right. to give a little bit more, um, uh, a better name instead right. of the Walmart brand. I can't yeah. even remember what the off brand it's like is. Like Save, they, I think it's yeah, Save something or something like that. Yeah. But they, you know, they're trying to get that right. better name brand. That's what they're after. Not only the ability to put out the products, mm -hmm. they can already put out knockoffs right. of it. But they're looking for a product they can put out with a legitimate name behind it and produce more revenue. And I, I honestly think we will see this in the hands of Walmart before it's all said and done. But right. we're seeing this. Uh, they, they're saying the the sale and the manufacturing will kick back up. And we will see Twinkies and Ho Hos and they're Wonder Bread. They're not gone. They're not gone. We <laughs> should see them by Easter. So I'm sure they'll come out with like a pink Twinkie or something like that that'll hit the Easter shells by then. Right. So. Well, those that love Twinkies, I bet, you know, my Deep waistline's kind of, you know. Deep fried yeah. Twinkie will be back hopefully before the end of next year. So. <laughs> well, the fight continues on. That's right. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for that. Not a problem. And we'll be right back.